In this video, we will talk to you 2023 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter for by 4 Don't forget to subscribe to my CAN channel. Let's get started Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Expert Review. What's new AWD 4x4 system new diesel engine available in two outputs 9-speed automatic. Transmission is now standard across the lineup what we think. We finally had a chance to get behind the wheel of 2023's heavily updated Sprinter. The new variable torque split AWD system. Proved near unstoppable on a slippery mud hill and the stronger four-cylinder diesel and shorter first gear made for a van. That felt a bit quicker off the line. We also found the revised cabin a far cry from some other workhorse full-size vans, yes. The Sprinter's expensive. But it's worth it, performance say goodbye to the turbo diesel V6 because the 2023 Sprinter is only available with four-cylinder gas and diesel engines. The gas-powered 2.0-liter four-cylinder is expected to carry over. While full specs are still forthcoming, Mercedes says a new OM65 for four-cylinder diesel engine is available in two outputs, 168 horsepower and 208 HP, compared to the previous OM65 for engine. The new unit is said to provide smoother acceleration, more torque, less noise and vibration and decreased emissions. No longer will diesel sprinters come with a 7-speed automatic transmission. A 9-speed automatic transmission is standard on all models. Replacing the sprinters selectable for WD system is a new full-time AWD setup. It provides a 50% torque split per axle unlike the previous system that gave 35% of torque to the front and 65% to the rear axle in 4x4 mode. Mercedes claims the new AWD system doesn't sacrifice when it comes to ground clearance and approach. Departure and breakover angles compared to the 4x4 system. We hope the new Sprinter can match the previous models on road. Manners, too, in past reviews. We praise the Sprinter's communicative steering that helps it feel smaller and sportier than its size would. Suggest configurations we expect the 2023 Sprinter will continue. To offer a variety of configurations, including a 2-seat cargo variant, 5-seat crew variant, and 12-15-seat to 15 seat passenger variants. A chassis cab version should continue to serve buyers looking for ultimate versatility when hauling equipment. We anticipate the Sprinter will once again offer 144-inch and 170-inch wheelbase options, as well as a choice between a standard roof or high roof. We wouldn't be surprised if Sprinter prices rise. For the new model year, a no-frills 2019 Sprinter diesel passenger van we tested was more than $61. Zero thanks for watching this video, so...